In 2021, I built this mechanical drawing machine and I wanted to show the elements on how it's built. There were several mechanical drawing machines in the past. Most popular was the classic toy, the Spirograph, which used gears and holes to guide the pencil across the paper. Another toy was the Hoot Nanny, which drew geometric patterns on a small circle of paper. These all worked to some degree, but since they are based on gears, the relative RPM between the paper and the drawing tool was limited by the ratio of two or three gears. There are other drawing systems available today, but again, they most often depend on gear ratios. My design plan was direct drive stepper motors with no gears or belts. An easy program for setting the relative speeds of the three motors. Low cost. Small tabletop size. Uh, the ability to use 8.5 by 11 paper. And all elements such as the arm length, the arm radius, the motor position, as well as the motor speeds to be continuously adjustable. The turntable is cut from 3 quarter inch pine wood. It is 9 inches wide to accommodate the 8.5 inch width paper. I cut the corners off to form an octagon in order to save space. The turntable rotates on a high quality ball bearing lazy susan ring. The support legs are 10-32 bolts with cap nuts on the ends to serve as level adjusters. The motor shaft is attached directly to the table board. I took care to make sure the motor was exactly at the center with respect to the lazy susan ring so that there would be no wobble as the motor spins. I fixed a simple brace between the motor body and one of the support legs to hold the motor still. The two stepper motors that run the drawing arm are simply mounted on wooden blocks cut to the right height to give the pen proper clearance. The bottom of each block has a small aluminum plate attached so it can be secured by screws in any location on the base area. The connection of all three motor shafts was made with a 5mm flan shaft coupling. The motor shaft is 5 millimeters in diameter and this coupling fits on easily and tightens with set screws. On each of the drawing arm motors I mounted a short length of T-track. I used T-track so that the drawing arm pivots could be set at any radius and locked in place with a 1 quarter 20 bolt and wing nut. The rotating blocks that mount on the T-tracks and hold the aluminum rods were the most complicated item to make. I used ball bearings for the blocks to spin on. I used Schedule 80 PVC as the material. I like PVC since it is strong yet very easy to cut, drill, and tap. It can be glued as well. These blocks could be 3D printed as well, I suppose. The blocks hold the outer rim of the ball bearings with small set screws. Another hole is drilled to hold the quarter inch aluminum rod. The rod is held in place by set screws. The other ends of the two rods were attached to small PVC blocks and then hinged together. One block got a vertical 3 8 inch hole drilled to hold the pen. The stepper motors are 12 volt NEMA 17 motors with 200 steps per rotation. I use the DRV 
8825 drivers to run the motors. The drivers were mounted on driver shield boards that made the motor wire connections and micro-stepping selections very easy. I set the drivers on 1 16th micro-stepping for smooth, quiet operation. I'll briefly review the wiring for the UNO and the steppers. First, connect the motor cable to the driver. Next, 12 volts is supplied to the driver for motor power and to the UNO on the VN pin. The 5 volt output on the UNO board is connected to the driver to power the logic circuits. The UNO outputs 3, 6, or 7 are connected to the step input of the driver. I added optional color-coded LEDs to the three outputs to indicate pulse activity. These are optional. These connections are repeated two more times for the other two drivers. There are many good YouTube videos that describe the connections of stepper motors to an UNO controller. If you need more detail in the wiring, please review some of these excellent resources. The sketch is a simple countdown system. There are three countdown variables assigned to the three motors. If motor red, the turntable, motor yellow, and motor green are set with the variables 125, 29, and 25 respectively, as shown as in the example, then the turntable will get a step pulse every 125th program cycle, motor yellow will get a step pulse every 29th program cycle, and motor green will get a step pulse every 25th program cycle. The pattern being drawn here is using these variables. I usually make a test drawing using pencil on plain printer paper. Once I'm happy with the drawn pattern, I make a final drawing using cardstock paper and pen. The pen I use is a Stabilo .88 fine tip pen. This pen makes a fine dark line on the cardstock paper without any bleeding or blobs. The pen comes in a full array of colors. This has been an interesting project. I enjoy discovering which arm settings and RPMs can make interesting patterns. I've put a copy of the sketch and the parts list in the comments.